darkness. This is something to scare the population as well. This is the perfect example of a manipulation to bind you by fear because while you are waiting for these and wandering for these days of darkness you're just like this you know and you lower your frequency and you are controllable they bind you by fear because i don't know who told you that or where you read that but these people who came up with these three days of darkness that's something like that's metaphorical it's in every uh, books and religion it's a metaphor for the dark night of the soul for the transformation we are so these people are using this these metaphors to make you addicted to their mouth through their words and then you are enslaved to their predictions because you've been scared once first you know um we are now growing up we are now awakening and it is time now that we take all the ancient predictions premonitions all the ancient oracles for what they really are messages from higher consciousness and you need to see the metaphors behind them someone was asking me uh, today about the event when will the event occur because people say oh it will be that date and then it doesn't happen and then somebody says something else that's horizontal thinking um monkey mind thinking you are more than this think with your higher self what is the event the event is the great awakening of this species the awakening in consciousness waking from a long lethargy from a long sleep and seeing beyond the veil of illusions ascending in wisdom in frequency this is the event and this is not happening one day this has started many years ago and is now in the process. We are in the middle of the event and it will be over, completed in a few years time. This is the event. We have been on earth um, warned a few times by different races of extraterrestrials from the Federation and the Council of Five that's, that something would occur during a short window of time. The two dates were 2017, 2022. We are in the middle of it. Well, it, next to the achievement, the completion. That is the event, the great awakening. So um, that is occurring now. Thank you for your question. It, it was it was actually a uh, actually good time. The, the 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 sun has cycles. So if you, this is meant to scare you, ignore it. You know what I mean? If it that meant to scare you, ignore it. Um, times to times, there are high waves of energy coming from the sun, broadcasted by the central sun of the galaxy, which is a portal towards the central sun of this dimensional plane, which is a portal to source, which is at the base of all universes. So this is pulses of higher energy that are broadcasted and we can feel it sometimes it's pulses so that can also explain sometimes that the schumann resonance goes like wow <laughs> but there are all other reasons for that our good allies are working on the earth grid on the schumann resonance raise a frequency um we do it as well every time we raise our frequency it's like the butterfly effect even if it is at our own level it acts on everything else think that when at your small little level, you raise your frequency in a meditation, you find inner peace, and you just flip out of the matrix, you think it's just for you, that something happening for you. No, it's not only. It happens also for the whole universe at different level. But you know now, quantumly, the distance doesn't matter. It's all about focus. When you send energy or light, to the other side of the galaxy if you do it by quantum resonance setting up a target and merging with it what arrives it has this is at the same intensity as what you send because it's it's like resonance you know uh, it's not like if it was traveling and it loses intensity as it goes far far that's not that's a difference that's not to say that going out of the subject um 
I'm going to take another question from last week's chat. Um, so someone asked why expecting passively and relying on the Galactic Federation intervention and compassion. Okay, so there's a, uh, a little bit misunderstanding. It is not good to re never ever rely on someone to come and save you. Never ever do that because you will learn nothing and you are giving your power away. Never be in a passive state of waiting that is not right. You will not evolve and you must not wait for someone to come and rescue you. You are your own rescuers. So everything I always say, raise your frequency, find inner peace, disconnect from the broadcasted field of fear and do not consent to be manipulated. Stand in sovereign beings. Request assistance as an equal to the Galactic Federation that puts you at their level. But they are not waiting for you to do that. They do their job anyway. That's a very long time that they are assisting us already from a very long time. So, um, yeah, re reading the question again. Um, they have already been uh, involved in protecting us and they have been working hard in the liber liberation of yourselves. You know, it's the law of free will, uh, the law of evolution. Um, you know, um, it's like when you are in an abusive relationship. I give you this example. A simple uh, human species is at the moment in an abusive relationship with the dark states. It's dark state. Okay, I don't know how to call that. Um, when your allies and friends and family are desperately sad for you that you are in this relationship, what can they do to help you? If they take you by force, you'll go back into it. So they are going to work on opening your eyes that you are in an abusive relationship, showing you what's wrong, to sh that it shakes you. So your family is going to work hard at revealing what is bad, what is wrong in this relationship, especially in your abuser. They are going to allow him to become um, more uh, abusive until you really see it and you realize that, wait a minute, that's wrong. And you wake up and you walk away and you're a different person. You've regained your sovereignty, you've regained your strength and you've awakened and you will never ever go back into it. And that's a true liberation. Now, the galactic family, it's a federation. The abuser, it's a deep state. So think about that. See things in this perspective, you know, the higher perspective of the higher self not the practical sci-fi mind thinking, you know. It's all about spirit. Um, so um, now I'm going to take another question. For, rely on someone to come and save you. Never ever do that because you will learn nothing and you are giving your power away. Never be in a passive state of waiting. That is not right. You will not evolve and you must not wait for someone to come and rescue you. You are your own rescuers. So I think I always say, raise your frequency, find inner peace, disconnect. So um, yeah, re reading the question again, um, they have already been uh, involved at in protecting us and their business. We are not here to save you, but here to help you saving yourselves. You know, it's the law of free will, uh, the law of evolution.